Among the dozen major oral epic poems that developed within the Arabic folk tradition from the Middle Ages to the 19th century, the Hilali is the only epic still performed in its complete musical form. It was once widespread throughout the Arab Middle East, but has now disappeared from everywhere except Egypt. Since the 14th century, the Hilali epic has been performed by master poets who sing the verses while playing a percussion instrument or a two-string spike fiddle called a rabab. Traditionally, performances take place at weddings, circumcision ceremonies and private gatherings and may last from 50 to 100 hours. In addition to its significance as a unique form of literary and musical expression, the epic represents a repository of Arab folk history, customs and beliefs. Throughout the Middle East, numerous proverbs and riddles relating to the poem continue to circulate, and many of the region's place names immortalize familiar heroes from the Hilal. This great oral poem, also known as the Hilali epic, recounts the tale of the Bani Hilal Bedouin tribe and its migration from the Arabian Peninsula to North Africa in the 10th century AD. The epic is composed of three parts. The first part tells the story of Abu Ziz Hilali's ancestors, his birth and youth. Born black, he was rejected by his own tribe and so had to join another one. He became a great knight and allowed his adopted tribe to beat his original tribe, after which the members of his original tribe recognised him. The second part retraces the journey of the Bani Hilals, who were forced to abandon their encampment and move on every time drought set in, fighting many battles along the way. One day, Abu Ziz Hilali went off to scout and discovered the route from High Egypt to Tunisia, where he was imprisoned by the sovereign there. He was released after agreeing to return with a large ransom. However, Abu Ziz did not return with the promised ransom, but came accompanied by his own tribe and allied tribe. The epic tells of the numerous obstacles encountered along the way, before the second part ends with an account of the difficult conquest of Tunis and of the fratricidal combats between members of the Bani Hilali tribe for the city's loot. The third part tells the story of the descendants who followed in the footsteps of the Bani Hilali forefathers, becoming heroes in their own right. In the past, practitioners were trained within family circles and performed the epic as their only means of income. These professional poets began their arduous tenure apprenticeships at the age of five. To this day, students undergo special training to develop memory skills and to perfect their instrument play. But they must also learn to inject improvisational commentary in order to render plots more relevant for contemporary audiences.